everybody, want to introduce you to Daniel Graves, who actually used to intern with me. <laughs> He's a Hammond guy, and he went to ULM, graduated in meteorology. He's been in Tyler, Texas for a while, and you're glad to be home, Oh, right? yeah, I'm, and I'm here. I'm representing the North Shore from Hammond. And so, so glad you're here. Oh, yeah, I'm All right, to be so here. we're talking Invest 99L. We've been right? talking about it for a week. Uh, too long, oh, right? Yeah. Unfortunately, we're going to be talking about it longer. Let's check it out. I've got the visible satellite imagery up now. Now, and the problem with the visible is that in another 30 minutes or so, we're going to lose it. But do you see that low-level circulation? I mean, it's really clear now just to the north of Cuba. You can look at this other perspective, and sure enough, you can see we've got a spin going on. So here's the deal. It's heading towards warm water. It is dealing with some strong winds aloft right now, also some dry air. But over time, that could change. I want to show you the European model. And this is really important. It's changed big time. The X shows where it was placing the system. And now here is the new forecast. Obviously, it's very different from what it was earlier. This is the forecast for Monday with an area of low pressure in the Gulf. And then it brings it more to the west, showing a broad area of low. The X showing where the original forecast was. Then we're looking at Wednesday, still showing a broad low. And now it's getting more interesting, showing uh, what looks like a tropical storm south of the mouth of the Mississippi River, bringing it close to us on Friday. That would mean a strong onshore flow, the greater risk for Mobile, Pensacola, Destin, and Apalachicola, Florida. And then it kind of blows it up. Now, I don't see why it would blow up that quickly, but this is something we'll have to watch. Again, the global forecast model, the American model, basically staying with the same forecast as earlier. This is Tuesday near Tampa. It's elongated and then it moves it off to the east. Notice too how another system is forecast to move off the coast of Africa. So here we are looking at the spaghetti plots. One little group over towards Texas, the majority over Florida. The National Weather Service tends to think that that is the correct forecast. The reason high pressure to the east, a little trough to the north, that could possibly steer it to the northeast. Something we're going to have to watch carefully. Of course, we'll keep you posted. Meanwhile, Daniel, we've had a lot of rain. That's right. We've continued to see showers and thunderstorms throughout the afternoon and evening. So if you are headed out the door, you may want to keep that umbrella handy. Here's the big picture. We're still seeing some showers and thunderstorms off towards the west as well, just towards the south of the Biloxi area. Notice rainfall still continuing to develop near St. Bernard Parish as well. Stay just towards the south of Biloxi across I-10, making its way off towards the west. Some showers continuing to fire up as well near the Mandeville, Covington area. Some lightning associated with that as well. Down near the south shore, the heaviest rainfall has been into Terrebonne and Lafouche Parish near Homa. A lot of lightning with this and very heavy rainfall. Gusty winds as well just within the past 15 minutes. 146 lightning strikes and into the metro. A few brief showers showing up there for the rest of the evening. We're going to continue to see some rain chances in the forecast for the rest of your evening. There's this upper level low that's bringing a lot of rainfall across Louisiana. The rain bands behind that will continue to increase our rain chances at least for the next several days. So we'll continue to see some slight rain chances this evening. Overnight, we'll start to see those rain chances come to an end. A few brief showers possible, but wait, look at the early morning hours, six o'clock on Sunday, already seeing some showers develop and that will continue throughout the day. Looking at the broad picture of your forecast model. Rain chances at about a 60% chance tomorrow. There's that heavy rainfall Sunday morning. We'll continue to see those rain chances Monday into Tuesday as well. As we continue to monitor the tropics, we'll continue to see mainly into the afternoon hours. Once again, more rain chances there on Monday. That's at about a 50% chance Tuesday right now at a 30% chance. But here's what's picking up Invest 99L. We'll continue to watch that for you over the next several days. Temperatures right now mid to upper 80s across the north and south shore. Winds are out of the east 10 to 15 miles per hour, especially down near the south shore. If you're heading out the door this evening, temperatures into the mid 80s, still keeping those isolated rain chances into the forecast overnight mid 70s to the upper 70s to lower 80s for your overnight lows. We'll see high temperatures once again into the upper 80s. So planning the day tomorrow 
tomorrow. 30 to 40% chance into the morning by the afternoon. Seeing rain chances at a 60% chance. Notice those rain chances starting to decrease early into next week, but that could change depending on the tropics. We'll hear, we'll keep you updated.